What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous uh, week so far. Let's dive in and just see what messages come out for you. Um, if these readings don't go up this morning, I will make sure I post these later this evening. I'm going to try to do some extra readings later too. Let's see. What's going on, Scorpio energy? What's going on for the week? 24, let's do 24 to 48 hours. What's going on, Scorpio's energy? I hate nothing about you. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. So, staying centered, aligning yourself with the universe. Okay, some of y'all could be getting some energy from a person. you like, dang, what's this person's problem? What's wrong with them? Spirit is saying stay high vibrational because this person, they don't hate you. They could just be in their feelings or in their emotions in some sort of way. What else? You know, oh, you already know it. <laughs> already knowing the tea. So you already know this person's just in their feelings. They feel some type of way. For some of y'all, this person got caught up cheating or something like that. Or they got caught cheating. So that could be the reason why they acting like that towards you. What's going on? Gym. Yeah. Y'all may hear about somebody cheating, meeting someone at the gym, staying long hours, getting played. <coughs> so somebody played themselves. Manipulation, lies, controlling, pulling the strings. Somebody played themselves. Somebody could have got caught up cheating. What's I hate nothing about you? What's that for? Family time. This could be somebody you have kids with or a family with or something like that. Yeah, they, this type of person there, they're, they're escapists. They run away from their problems instead of handling them. So they could have just ran away from the family dynamic or ran away from the kids or ran away from what y'all were trying to build and they feel some type of way. What's you know? I already know that too expecting new beginning parenting this definitely could be somebody you have children by focusing on your children and co-parenting you could just be focusing on co-parenting you know having your new beginning doing your new thing some of y'all have started a whole new family you know started your new beginning or this person could have started a whole new family started a new beginning but it's like this this is like one of them bitter baby mama baby daddies right and you, you already know that, yeah, a fake friend protecting yourself. You could be protecting yourself from this person because this person could be like, try to pretend like they cool, but they really not. They could be actually out to get you. What's the gym card? They could have slept with somebody, yeah, coming in after you. For some of y'all, this person could have slept with somebody that feels some type of way towards you. Copycat. Mm -hmm. A situation's about to explode. Some of y'all, this person went and cheated on you with another person that actually wanted to be that wants to be just like you. So they ended up getting with your copycat. Chill out. Yeah. And now this person all mad. They in their feelings. They feel some type of way. And it's like, honey, chill out. We ain't, it ain't in that serious nightmare. And it's because stuff didn't turn out the way that they wanted it to. So now they mad. They in their feelings. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Let's see. What's going on? What's I hate nothing about you with family time for Scorpio? Yeah, trying. This could have been somebody to put you in a third party situation. Again, some there could be children involved, or like they just played on your innocence. Um, bottom of the deck, courting man, uniform and professional male. For some of y'all, this is somebody. Some of y'all could be getting an attorney. I don't know. He gives me attorney vibes. Okay, <laughs> but um. Yeah, you felt like this was a crowded relationship. This person won a third party. Maybe they had a, a kid outside of you or they wanted to go have fun. You know, brunette female, darker hair, intense and focused. And now they could be focused on you or they didn't want to take you serious. They could have said you was too serious. They want to be childish or something like that. Let's see. What else happened? Spirit. Well, that's what's going on. Like, you thought this person hates you or something like that. Like, man, why you hate me like that? Y'all can have kids together. Like, for real. <laughs> Damn, you know, what's going on? You chose another love and I chose, you know, to go this direction. What's I hate nothing about you with family time? Or Scorpio. Fancy living. Someone's used to living the good life and then psycho. This is somebody that you could have took care of in some sort of way. You could have financially supported or like when y'all were together, like y'all was living good together or like you, you really supported them in some sort of way. And maybe now this person thinking like you gonna keep doing that, but now you guard it. You got your guard up. Yeah. Why are you so obsessed with me? This could be somebody that's obsessed with you. I hate nothing about you with family time. This is an X, the X factor. You let them go. 
they could have been caught up with an ex and that's the reason why you let them go but when they was with you they was living good you really you know you really cared on them yeah switching up but they could have switched up on you and now you've leveled up since then your life is about to change for the better maybe you've moved on from this person you know what i'm saying and now they feel some type of way lustful vampire sexual drainage this person could have got caught up with another um this person could have got caught up with somebody else. You know, they fell for temptation or whatever. And now they mad at you. Or they feel some type of way. Because you moved on. Sorry, y'all. That's what it looked like. So they mad at you. They act like they can have like an attitude with you or something like that. You know what I'm saying now? Because you done moved on. You're not fooling with them and stuff like that. But I mean... Really what it is is you've leveled up since you've since you've been dealing with this person. They don't like that. But they switched up on you. What's I hate nothing about you at family time? Confident. Yeah, you ended this. This is something you've ended already. You released it. Distant horizon. Some of y'all could have even moved, moved away mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. And you focusing on leveling up. Your life is about to get better with whoever, you know, since you've dealt with this person. This person could be going crazy. Childhood fear. Someone is traumatized by their childhood. This person could, yeah, gaslighting. This person could have been dealing with like childhood issues and stuff like that. They could have been like gaslighting, manipulative type of person. But you're moving on. This is somebody to put you, they either chose another lover or put you in a third party situation. And you moved on from them. And now they in their feelings because they switched up on you. But okay. But it's because being attached to you, they was living like a, a, a nice lifestyle. What's you know? Already knowing the team with expecting new beginning. Fun times. Yeah, so you enjoying your life. Some of y'all could be attending like parties, events. Y'all just having fun, enjoying yourself, doing you. You know what I'm saying? So make great connection relationship. Some of y'all are getting into a new partnership or y'all about to get into a new partnership with somebody. Okay? Getting to know them. Y'all can have like a really good relationship with your person. Yeah, true love. Y'all could be falling in love. It's like a pure, loving, honest connection here. Obstacles, blocks, pathways, and delays. But this person could be causing some sort of blockage, you know, sending blockages your way. Yeah, new love. For some of y'all, you you truly did love this person or, or this person feels like you're their true love, but they could be trying to block you from having this new beginning here in love. Like this is a cock blocker. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to have this new beginning. You having too much fun, Scorpio? What are you doing? Uh-uh, you're supposed to be miserable. <laughs> what you know already knowing the team in new beginning? Forgive because this person wants you to forgive them. Single woman, not the committed type, but you don't want to commit to them. You feel like they crazy. <laughs> <coughs> you feel like they crazy. What you know already knowing the team or expecting new beginning? Unwanted opinions. People giving you unsolicited advice or feedback. People could be like, Trying to tell you what to do or something like that. Give me one second. Yeah, why are you so obsessed with me? One second. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, why are you so obsessed with me? So somebody's obsessed, but you know, I already know the tea and expect a new beginning. Judgmental. Dang, that card went to pop out. So somebody could have misjudged you, or they were judging, or they're judging your new beginning or something like that. That could be the reason why they're trying to give opinions and stuff. This could be somebody that's obsessed with you. Yeah, lustful vampires. So this is somebody that could have, again, look, stable woman. They have the shit together. Someone needs to take care of their health. They can feel some type of way because you're stable. You're doing your own thing. You're grounded. You're focused on your health, drinking your water. You know what I'm saying? Eating your veggies and stuff like that. And this person is obsessed with your new be new beginning here. They may be coming in wanting to ask for forgiveness from you or desiring forgiveness. Clarify that you know, already know the T and expect a new beginning. Main male, this could be a masculine energy that y'all could be dealing with. Lovers. Again, this could have been somebody that chose another lover. Thoughts and marriage. This could have been somebody you were married to or somebody that you was in a long-term connection with. This person could have listened to other people and that's the reason why they chose to misjudge you or be judgmental towards you in some sort of way. Now, what's Jim and Hater for Scorpio? What's the Jim and Hater card for Scorpio? Jim and Hater card for my Scorpios. Open relationship. No commitment, casual, and openness. This could have been somebody that didn't want to commit to you. They wanted things to be casual. They wanted to have an open relationship with you. That could have been the reason why they cheated. Or this person cheated 
because they wanted to have an open relationship. And now they're like, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Now that you opening your opportunities up, dating queen opportunities, dates in abundance. Now you opening your opportunities up for new people, getting back out there, accepting abundance in your life and things like that. Now this person is hating on you. Yeah. Union, dating. Some of y'all could be getting into another connection, dark male. Some of y'all could be getting into another connection or a new connection here. Let's see. I could be getting ready to get back out there in the dating field. What's this gem with the hater card for Scorpio? Stripped and cleansed. You're being purified by spirit. Some of y'all are releasing this energy. Some of y'all could have had a hate towards this person because this person cheated on you. But egotistic person, this person could have went towards somebody thinking like, yeah, I can cheat on you. I can do this. I can do that. And they slept with a hater of yours. This, so this person could know you. What's gem with the hater card for Scorpio? Dangerous karmic ties. So now they've tied themselves to somebody, but they want to spin the block with the U-turn. Oh, hell no. Changing your mind about where you want to go or be. This person could be wanting to come back. What's the gem with the head of card? What? Overworked. Someone is doing way too much. Yeah, somebody overdid it. Diva. They could have got with a... Um, this person could have ended up getting with a, a diva type of person or somebody that they got to cater to. Ooh. What's Jim? Karma. This is their karma. Oh. So for some of y'all, they went towards somebody that ended up being their car. Whoever they cheated with and got with, that's their karma. You got two cards of karma. Karma. You got a karmic, dangerous karmic ties and karma. So they got with this person, left, did was non-committal to you, went towards somebody else, cheated on you, got with this person, whatever. This person ended up being your hater. Or they hate on you in some sort of way. Personality disorder, struggling to find self. This is somebody who don't even know who they are. This person just did too much. They went over the top with a situation. What's this? Cheater, Jim. Yeah, stable woman. They have the shit together. Egotistic person. You bruise this person's ego because now you focused on your money. You focused on your bag. Bipolar disorder, sexual connection. They could have ended up with somebody that's bipolar. Or they were bipolar with you about this connection and happy relationship. Narcissist. Yeah, okay. So for some of y'all, this person, because they were bipolar or because they that their mental state may not be all the way there, they went towards a sexual connection thinking that they were going to be happy and they ended up with a narcissist. Oh, wow. So this person basically put on like they were the best thing popping only to find out that they're dealing with a narcissistic person. Yeah, journey. Oh, wow. So that's the path they chose. Great fortune. Message of concern pathway. Now they're concerned because, yeah, courtship. Because they went towards a, another relationship or they're realizing they left behind this good, stable connection with you. Stable woman, they have their shit together. So they have, they have like a, what's it called? Pretty woman syndrome, shiny object syndrome or something like that. They could have went towards something thinking it was better than what they already had. And so they wanted to leave things open with you and casual with you and went over there. Now they realize that they, whatever show they put on or whatever they did to get whatever they wanted to, hating on you, you know, all that stuff. Now they're kind of like stuck with that karma while you're here in the stable woman or stable man energy. You done got your shit together and they stuck over there with the karma. You over here in this great fortune energy. So this is somebody that's mad. Again, leveling up. Your life is about to change for the better. You're leveling up because you're releasing this person because when this person was attached to you, they was living a fancy lifestyle with you. They were able to be attached to you in some sort of way. But now that you're breaking away, so when y'all were a family unit, this person was living good. But now that you're breaking away, now this person is having to watch you move on and be stable by, on your own and by yourself. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.